O'Donoghue with some good information on Guinness. St. Patrick's Day is arriving soon, and I want to help you be prepared for the Irish Holy Day. I want to give you some good information on Guinness, and I want to teach you how to drink Guinness, and maybe help get you to heaven. Yeah. Mikey O'Brennan, my future brother-in-law, and I participated in the whole Kilkenny Island Brewery Tour. I learned a lot, and at the end of the tour, we were offered a free beer. Wait! Don't drink that beer. It's not ready yet. Let it settle until you can see a clear division between the white foam head and the red ruby beer. For one reason or another, we stopped and visited several pubs located while leaving downtown Kilkenny. We had arrived back in the town of Castle Coma, the town where I was to be married in seven days. It was around 10 p.m. It's almost last call, said Mikey O, explaining that the pubs would be closed in an hour and it didn't make any sense to go home yet. Last call means you can order several pints of beer before last call, stay in to after last call and drink your beer. However, once last call time has passed, you cannot order any more beer. A very bad thing. So we were having the time of our lives, doing some true male bonding with my new soon-to-be relatives and Irish friends. When in Rome, do like the Romans. When in Ireland, socialize while under the influence of Guinness Stout, in gratitude and respect of Sir Arthur Guinness. Look, the beer has settled. It's Guinness time. See that clear division? of the white foam and the red ruby beer? But how do you drink it? You don't sip it. You don't slug the head off it. You grab that pint with authority and gulp down at least one quarter of the beer as if it's the first drink you've had in your whole life. Salante. Three more gulps should punish the pint. And when only a few foam lines remain in a glass, you have conquered that pint. Sir Arthur Guinness was born in County Kildare, Ireland in 1725. Arthur Guinness began brewing ale at St. James Gate Brewery in Dublin in 1759. In 1778, Guinness began to brew porter beer a dark beer containing roasted barley. This beer was known as porter beer because of the popularity amongst porters and dock workers in London. But today, everybody calls this Guinness. This new group of Irish friends and relatives was providing historical education to me while feeding my body with a healthy dose of roasted barley in the form of Guinness Extra Stout. Did you know that a pint of Guinness only contains 210 calories? And Guinness contains antioxidants, which help reduce cholesterol and blood clots. Marky O and company of newly formed Irish friends was trying to get me into heaven. How do you get to heaven? You see, when we drink, we get drunk. When we get drunk, we go home. When we go home, we go to sleep. When we go to sleep, we do not commit any sin. And when we do not commit any sin, we go to heaven. So let's all get drunk and go to heaven. <laughs> life is great. Live life to its fullest. Now you know a little bit about Guinness and you know how to drink a proper pint, and maybe you'll get to heaven. You are ready for St. Patrick's Day. So go out with authority and celebrate the Irish Holy Day. I am so blessed that I married a great Irish girl and the benefits that come from Ireland. Salante. I have conquered that pint.